Are you thinking of becoming a data analyst but not sure what skills actually matter? If I were starting as a data analyst in 2025, here's what I'd learn first and what I'd skip. Let's rank these skills in a tier list style. First, we have Python. This one straight going into A tier. It's powerful for data cleaning and analysis, especially with libraries like Pandas and NumPy. Not a must have for every data analyst role, but super valuable once you get comfortable with SQL and Excel. Next, we have SQL, easily S tier. If you can't pull data from databases, you're not analyzing much. Every data analyst needs to know it. Joins, CTEs, subqueries, all that good stuff. Next, we have data visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI, also S tier. But why? Because insights are useless if no one understands them. Great visuals make your work look as smart as it is. Next is Excel. It also goes into S tier. I know some people hate on Excel, but guess what? It's still S tier. Pivot tables, quick analysis, dashboards. You'd be shocked how many companies still live inside Excel. Next we have R. I'm gonna go for B tier. It's cool for academic and research purposes, also healthcare settings. But honestly, Python kinda took the mainstream lead and R is B tier. Next, we have basic stats. Goes into A tier. Not knowing what a p-value is or how to interpret a confidence interval can really hold you back. You don't need to be a statistician, but you need to think statistically and know basic stats. Next, we have business acumen. Let's go for S tier. Business understanding is easily S tier. You're not just playing with data, you're solving business problems. Knowing the why behind your work is what separates a good analyst from a great one. Then we have Git and I'll go for B tier. I'll uh, be honest, it's super helpful for version control if you're working on team projects or using GitHub, but not essential for solo analysts starting out. Next, we have cloud platforms like AWS or even GCP for that matter. I'll put it in B tier. It's useful if your data lives in the cloud or you're building pipelines, but most entry level roles don't expect you to know this from day one. Next, we have AI and machine learning. I would get it into C tier. Shocking, right? Uh, it's cool. AI and machine learning is cool and hype, but most analysts won't need to build models. That's more of a data scientist thing. Next, we have communication skills, which is A tier. And why? Because you could do the best analysis in the world, but if you can't explain it clearly to the stakeholders, to the clients, to even your manager, it won't matter. And I don't just mean public speaking. It's about simplifying complex stuff without dumbing it down. And lastly, we have Apache Spark. Mm, I'm thinking of putting it into C tier as well. It's a beast when you're working with huge data sets or doing big data processing, but let's be real. Most analyst roles don't need it day to day. If you're in a company with massive data pipelines, sure, it's useful. Otherwise, you're good to go without it. So you agree or disagree, please let me know how you'd rank these in the comments. And if you're just starting out, I would say focus on the S and A tiers. That's your launch pad. Like and subscribe to Data Drool and I'll see you in the next one.